Oh Hello, beta testers. 30 FPS. Gotham Knights can't catch a break. 30 FPS. Deceive the fans. What a big mistake. 30 FPS. After delays, how long you took? 30 FPS. Pre order money is on the 30 FPS. Gotham Knights is one big ball of pubic hair. Sneaky WB Montreal Rob fans blind Still mid after a year delay Three villains brought to love you long time And all the reasons I have I just can't seem to remember now What the Oh I gotta be zany Maybe I was wrong First time for everything Show no unique Got them sucking my penis. You're my weakness. Your cheap incompleteness. My Wakandan brothers and sisters. 30 FPS. How you like that? Next gen only. $70. Damn, WB Montreal. You couldn't tell people. Before you start a hustling that pre-order money, it just seems like you're withholding information, like it's a deception, you know? Were people privy to this information? Were they aware? They certainly might not have spent. And based on the overwhelming sentiment of people making it abundantly clear that this at the very least mattered to them, next gen only $70, 30 FPS, two years into this generation, after a year delay, only two player co-op three to four villains with a four player co-op mode eventually coming but not at launch it's like we're going backwards wb montreal deliberately withheld information that they knew would drastically change whether or not people might be interested in their game with this information only slipping out indicating maybe wb montreal likely never would have said until everyone just figured it out on their own if i put a wig on and threw some she's and hers in my twitter bio People might recognize deceptively withholding information to get me to go along with something or even pay for something is akin to a four-letter word that starts with an R and ends with ape, as in planet of the, as in I'm glad this game is so bananas because it seems like I'm the ape for the job. <laughs> like and subscribe while I season this roast. This company hasn't released a game since 2013. They delayed a game one year for, quote, more time to deliver the best possible experience for players, end quote. They dropped last generation support because they, quote, had to prioritize and focus our efforts to deliver the game at a satisfying level of quality for current gen, end quote. Adding, quote, we want to deliver a game that we are truly proud of, end quote. They increase the price $10, hold Q&A sessions in their echo chamber discord where they deliberately dodge questions specifically pertaining to the frame rate because they were trying to trick people into buying and finally forced to confirm after reviewers have leaked the information that only 30 FPS is available days out from launch. I guess we have confirmation. WB Montreal, you get what you fucking deserve. Listeners, I want to read 13 comments from four different threads because I'm packaging the other funny stuff from other places for its own video. Tell me in the comments how this whole launch rubs you. Let's hear what these people have to say. Oof. That's a bummer. If a game doesn't offer a 60 FPS mode or better, I simply won't buy and play it. Sounds like a wait for me, unless it gets like a 95 plus. This game is getting worse every time there's news about it. If new gen consoles won't hit 60, I'm gonna assume that neither will my st Steam Deck, oh boy. Current gen only game too. I can't even imagine what sort of mess this must have been on the Xbox One. Didn't know whether to get this or Modern Warfare 2 on the 21st. There's that answered. Hard pass for me without 60 FPS option. It would be one thing if this was a graphical showcase where you can understand the compromise, but this is not that. Number four, 
how does this game look worse than Arkham Knight, a game from 2015? And somehow it's locked at 30 FPS as a next-gen only game? Imagine not offering a 60 FPS in 2022. Christ, I really thought consoles finally moved to 60 FPS being the norm. This game just keeps getting better and better, with the sarcasm being what it's all about. This is the one that I left my little, uh, my tweet on here that I was pissing off all of the Marvel's Avengers and Saints Row stands that came out of the woodwork that, that boy. Number one says, hold up, even on PS5 and Series X? Fucking yikes. That's unfortunate. I won't be playing it then. 30 FPS? Fuck out of with that. I guess he meant fuck out of here. I'd understand that on, on the fucking Switch. 100% passing on this now. Inexcusable at this point. So much for getting this game. The PS5 and Series X can for sure run this game at 60 FPS even with co-op. Seems like the devs are just being lazy. Laziness is the wrong word. Incompetence is the right word. Number 8. Corporate Defense Squad is putting in work today with these downvotes. My nigga, I wasn't the one who said it. Can you imagine? They are in these threads downvoting everything. Just consume, it's not that big a deal. Number seven, LOL, Spider-Man can get up to 100 FPS on PS5 and looks way better than this game. What a joke, $70 next gen only, the 30 FPS. Number six says, that just killed the hype for me. An action game that has dodge and parry mechanics should really prioritize 60 FPS before resolution or ray tracing. Number 5 says I barely even notice the high graphic settings in games. What's even the point of playing something at a quarter of the frame rate when it basically looks the same? <laughs> this is dumb. Number 4. There is no excuse for 30 FPS in the year 2022. Why not have performance mode for, yep, yep, no 60 FPS on a PS5, what a joke. Will consoles forever be plagued by 30 FPS? No, it's just this developer. Number 11, it needed another delay, you can say that again. Damn, that sucks, this went from a probably day one purchase, probably. Number 9, I guarantee you there will be stuttering even on PC with good hardware. Uh, number 8, 30 FPS should be unacceptable on next gen. Number seven, it's a bad look this early in the gen to be stuck on, or the early in the gen. What? Number six, the writing was kind of on the wall for this when they released the system requirements. Oh, you said it. Number five, I get co-op at this scale would cause issues with 60 FPS, but surely an offline performance mode would have been possible. Not for these developers. Number four, I'm going to hazard a guess that we're going to see a 60 FPS mode patched in. Oh, for all oh, who to when soon. Yeah. Number three. So if I have this correct, Gothan Knights is the first current gen exclusive game that is locked at 30 FPS, right? If that's true, one of you, please tell the world. Tell the world that Gothan Knights is the first current gen exclusive game to be locked at 30 FPS. In that way, it stands alone. And the award goes to number two. I guess that's why they canceled the last gen versions. They couldn't get it to run. A locked 30 FPS action game in the year of our Lord 2022 Jesus. Not that the combat looked like anything special, but this is unacceptable. Fucking yikes, bro. Batman died for this, this one says. Glad I canceled my pre-order yesterday and somebody gilded that, which is like a little stupid thing they do on Reddit. Number four, teen. What pisses me off more than anything, probably, is not having 60 FPS mode is that the devs are being silent about it. Yeah, don't normalize it. Number 13, it doesn't launch with 60 FPS support. I will jump out the window. This is unacceptable. <gasps> Number 12 says reviewers are going to have a field day with this one. The good ones, the real ones, not the shells that have gotten it so far. Talking about mm, Gotham Knights. Ooh, dub. Check out this skin. Fire lit banger. You know what I'm talking about? What is up, guys? It is your boy coming at you with another video. And don't forget number 10. Console sales are not going to be what they wanted because of this. And that's exactly 
why they haven't addressed it directly. This is a red flag for an unoptimized mess, only picking this up now on a steep sale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is terrible if true. 30 FPS killed my parents. So let me get this straight. They abandoned development. Yes. Yes, my choir, my chorus indeed. There you go. And I'm done. <laughs>